welcome to the Get Your Shift Together Men's Podcast with your host, Dr. Myron Edmonds. Yo, what's going on, fam? What's going on with you? How you feeling, brother? How you feeling? Listen, I'm here. Where, where, where the people at? Y'all get on this thing. We up in this, John. What's up, Cleon? Hey, man, you just came in hot, brother. You coming in hot today. You coming in hot. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, DJ Walk, we got to watch this man here, man. He's always got something up his sleeve. He's always moving. He's a mover and a shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> y'all fellas, come on in here, man. Get in those comments. Let me hear from y'all today. I realized something, man. We have been streaming this thing, and I had my settings. They were wrong. I had my settings set up to where – only certain people could see the lives, man. So, oh, okay, yeah, that explains one of the reasons, obviously, as we see folks coming in. But anyway, man, other than the gas being hella high, how you been doing, brother? I'm good, man. I'm good. You may know what I say every week. The same thing. Family's good. I'm good. The Lord is good. So everything's good. You got to yes. excuse me, man. I'm watching a little one, man. So if you hear some. Some movement around, man. That's Jackson running around somewhere around here. Oh, man. So you know how we do. Bruh, listen, you already know how we do. Family, this family, is, family. This is the, by the way, this is the Get Your Shift Together podcast. Meaning, for those of y'all who don't know, the whole shift framework is about winning in the things that matter. So we talk about spiritual life, health and wellness, integrity, family, and then, of course, community. This man right here is live on the podcast, but he has not abdicated his role as a father. We, yes. We've been listening to you talk about Ray West. We've been listening to you give him a bubbling, uh, what was bubbling on the block. We're talking about yeah, being a man. good father. Well, you'd be a hypocrite if you weren't watching that boy right now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm still trying to figure out how to get in this frame. You had another frame that was a lot better. It was wider. This is, I don't like this frame. Right, let me see. Let me see. Frame. Let me see if I can work with you here, man. Frame, I, I'll give you a frame. Yeah, but you, you, you've sh- you, you shifted some stuff up, bro. That's why, man. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm, you done changed some stuff, man. You done changed. Hey, hey, that's hey, that's hey. what I'm talking about. That other frame was whack. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Keep this frame. Look, if you're going to be doing production, Myron, Edmonds, do it right, okay? Hey, man, All listen, right. brother. I didn't know you was going to change up the background, man, and, and use that's the right. barn doors. The barn doors background hey, now. Hey. You can switch it up. <laughs> use hey, this. Use this frame for now on. Don't do the other frame. Always use I like frame. the other frame, man. That's the standard podcast. I don't look. like that frame. It's the standard podcast look. I don't man. like that frame. I don't like that frame. I mean, I can see your grades more clearly too, Ooh. man. When, when you do it like that, brother. You know, we ain't do we ain't not pay, we ain't doing no Beijing today. Anyway. Man. Hey fellas, y'all get in here, man. Let us know who you are, where you're from. Uh, I see we got Cleon from Trinidad on here. What's going on, my brother? Any other brothers out there? Get in those comments. Holla at us. Let us give you a shout out today. So and, what happened uh, with the yeah. live? You said um, only certain people could get on the live last time, or well, I mean, the settings I had in, in in Facebook only limited certain people to see the live. So oh. anyway. We've gotten that fixed, but uh, let's see. Calvin, what's up, brother? Calvin from Memphis, man. Go hit those clips, y'all, man. Y'all missed a lot of good content. I, uh, I mean, it's, it's Myron's fault. But- yeah. <laughs> no, they can still, obviously, you, what y'all need to do is subscribe to the podcast. Right, right, right. Get your Shift Together podcast on Spotify. Come on now. I, uh, we got Apple, Apple Podcasts. And, of course, YouTube is where it's all at. We done uploaded podcasts as recently as this week. So you can get all of our content, again, on Spotify. You can get it on um, um, uh, Apple Podcasts and, of course, uh, YouTube. That's where, that's, where, that's where you get the unfiltered. That's where it is. Mike Hayes. See, this is how I know. Mike Hayes is in the house. Mike, we're going to talk about something today, man. I want you to hang in here for this conversation because it's something that me and you talk about a lot. So what's up, my Mike? Mike's in Dallas. Uh, Uber, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you from, bro? <laughs> Cleon, talk about. He's a. He, I'm great. Feeling better than LeBron today. <laughs> man, uh, Dave Graham from Chicago. What's going on, brother? See, see, man, we missed all these good pop ups. Everybody popping out now. Everybody yeah, popping yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we scrape. We scrape. We scrape. as they say in Memphis, we scrape. By the way, man, Memphis got some of the best barbecue, and we got people from Memphis and Texas on here. 
I just want you to know, yeah. man. God Almighty, boy. Shoot, Ooh, boy. Memphis and barbecue. Memphis barbecue was so good, man. Hey, look, look, look. We got a. We, we it's just the two of us today. We don't got no Lance J with the sports take. Oh, we man. got enough. We got enough to talk about today to where we just need to go ahead and get in this thing. But before we do, man, I just got to tell all the brothers, fellas, y'all need to meet us. Y'all need to meet us in the doggone DMV on April 1 through 2. 1 through 3, excuse me. April 1 through 3. If you're not in the DMV, I don't even know what's wrong with you. Brothers is coming from all over the United States to the DMV for the Men's Breakthrough Conference. I'm going to be there. Jay going to be there. Everybody going to be there. And it's going to be just a safe space for men. We got some some of the top speakers in the game that's going to be there. It's the men's conference you've been always looking for. For it's the one you've been looking for. It's going. We're going to be there in the DMV, going to Chocolate City, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Pull up, man. Pull up on us. Be there. Pull up, bro. It's going to be a breakthrough conference, man. We're looking to change some lives, man. Come on, change sir. Shake some Come things on, up. Sir. Listen, as long as we can get on your level, bro, so we can, you know, social media, you know what I'm saying? We we taking <laughs> photos with the stars, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we, we name dropping. <laughs> we, you know, my name dropping. You know, I'll be dropping them names, man. You know, I'll be dropping them names. Oh, uh, man. Who oh, else we got man. in here? All right, man. Listen, all right, fellas, look. So, so uh, I got to, we got, I got to set this up, Jay. What's I got to set this up. And What's I'm going to go on ahead and, uh, and don't mind me, bro. I gotta give us a I gotta give us a different look real quick because of the setup. Okay, so just bear with me, brother. Bear Take with wide screen, Myron. Brother, listen. I, I'm just telling you, in order to set this up right, in order to set it up right, I gotta I gotta do I gotta do something here. Okay. And uh, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I'm just gonna remove you real quick, but I'm gonna bring you back. So, listen, y'all. Um. Today we're talking about work-life balance, all right? And we're going to come from it from a very real perspective and we're going to talk about we're going to talk about these these Westbrooks just for a minute today. We don't got our sports take. We're going to talk about our Westbrooks and then we're going to get into what's bubbling on the blog and then we're going to get into this some more, but I got to I want to start here, right? Because lately your boy Russell Westbrook um who I think is probably the most polarizing figure in sports right now, but at least in the NBA, he's the most polarizing figure in the NBA. The brother is catching the brother. I'm bringing you back, Jay. The brother is catching so much heat uh, because honestly, he hasn't been playing well. I mean, let's just keep it real, man. The dude has been trash. I mean, he's been he's been playing poorly. Trash. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, I feel sorry for him because he's he's gone back home to his, you know, to him saying to his home team. He's from L.A. Uh, but anyway, Laker fan, Laker Nation, man, they ain't having it. And they coming for this man on in the streets. They coming for this man on social media. They coming for this man on dog on the court. And of course, those of you who've been following this story, I just want to set this thing up, Jay. I got to set this thing up right, okay? So I see a couple of things here. I have asked myself, I wonder, is it either A, that Russell Westbrook is struggling with some stuff off the court that's affected him on the court, or is this all of this that he's, just like any person, he has a job, his job is stressful, people may not think it's stressful, but they pay these guys these millions of dollars, he's in L.A., he ain't in Oklahoma City no more, he not playing for Houston no more, he in L.A., he in championship row, right? And the brother is out here, he just, he's playing like trash, bro. He the boys playing like trash, okay? So the people are calling him West Brick. They're calling him names. Question. Calling him names. Now, yeah, go so, ahead. So, so I know he's been playing like trash, right? Yeah. But how bad, I mean, is he at least getting 10 at night? I mean, because I, I haven't really been on this Laker watch, man, because I've really been going hard on the Bucks, you know? Man, bro, let me tell you, he is last in the league in three-point shooting. He is the first in the league in turnovers. And everybody criticized him for not playing defense. That's all you need to know right now. Oh, not to mention, I think he's shooting like 
I don't know. Let's just, he's, he has a horrible free throw uh, shooting percentage. The other night, man, I think he was like six for 13 from the free throw line. Mm-hmm. He'd been turning the ball over. But he, here's the thing. They've been criticized. They call him Westbrook. So anyway, his wife spoke up, and what she always does. He has a very outspoken wife, and I want to say this about his wife. I think it's kind of cool, though, man. His wife, I, I kind of like the way they be having each other's back. That's just me. Now, I don't always agree with what she says, but she rolls with this dude, man. She always comes for Skip Bayless. She comes for Stephen A. Smith. And I've seen both of these guys apologize to her, you know, <laughs> on, on screen for how that they have conducted themselves, at least about him. Anyway, she's a therapist also. So she's a very educated woman. She's solid. Like, they're a solid couple. Everybody knows about how Russ is very community engaged. He one of the better guys in the NBA. But he got a reputation for being stubborn. All right. He got a reputation for sort of giving the middle finger to the media. That's what he, 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 he's he the media never can get this guy to say what they feel like he he should say. And so thus he be he catching a lot of heat. So he's been playing like trash. They call him Westbrook. Now, here, here's the thing. Though. So when 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 Westbrook says something that is, um, I would say, um, that's a response to his critics, uh, DJ Walk. The man almost never. I'm going to show you a quote. I'm going to give you. I'm going to show you a quote. Right. This is what this dude. His typical response is, "Hey, I play bad, but hey, this is just a game. It's not the end all, be all." Matter of fact, what you often hear him say, Jay, is he'll often talk about it's just a game, man. But I'm winning in my marriage. I'm 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 making a difference in the community. And so you'll hear people like your boy Stephen A. Smith really come for him. So I want to show you some real clip. I got a little video. I got a little video clip, man. I, I want to show real quick, man, to uh, really get this thing clear. Let me count the ways. Russell Westbrook is in the nation's capital. I will remind y'all to go look at the clips. Championships don't mean nothing to me. I'm happy. I see plenty of champions who are less happier in life than me. Number one. Number two, you come to Los Angeles and you're struggling and they ask you about whether or not you take this home with you. Please, taking that stuff home with me. Y'all can take that stuff home with y'all. I'm good. I'm good. (laughs) Number two. Number three. You showed up in the aftermath of a game after saying those things and you did it again. You talked about, hey, you know, I'm all right. I'm good. Every impression that you have given is that you're going to play hard when you're on the court. But no matter what, you got your money. You good. And championships are not a priority. That's the impression that you've given. And what did I say? You can't. All right. So uh, let let, let me take this out. I'm I'm going to unmute you here. But uh, so so, 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 here's the question. I want to. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. (laughs) Before we go go any further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Let's just put out there that Stephen A. Smith is not really for the culture. <laughs> first, 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 before we do anything, uh-huh. he has been on record saying mm-hmm. multiple things. Okay, that hasn't really been for the further men of our, you know, our brown brothers out there. So, some people you know. say that's debatable. He does a lot for HBCUs, but he does say a lot of controversial stuff. I think exactly. that's. That's part of his. That's part of his job, I think. But so, so this is what I want to ask you, bro. I want to get into this thing. His resp- Russell Westbrook's response to all the criticism about his basketball game generally is exactly what Stephen A. Smith said. He gonna be like, "Look, it's just a game. It ain't no big deal. I got. I'm, I'm good at home. Y'all tripping about stuff that don't really matter. Blase, blase, blah." So I, here's the question I'm asking, because we talk about work-life balance. The man is literally saying, man, I'm struggling on the court or whatever. I mean, he's inferring, yeah, but 
I'm good. I'm good at home where it matters. <laughs> I mean, my family is good. I mean, my marriage is good. We see that his wife, she coming for all the critics. Yo, your boy Skip Bayless just blocked her on Twitter because she's been giving that dude the heat lately, talking about get off my get off my husband's back. And now when I hear, I don't know if you saw this, but they have been making death threats to the family. So yes, there have been death threats. There have been you know, all type of stuff. So I think the death threats are something different than criticizing his game. I think his game can be criticized. But I just want to ask you, just from a work, we can talk about all the other stuff later. Everybody's talking about that. But is he right? Is Russell Westbrook, like, just because I'm struggling on the court don't mean I'm not winning? (laughs) The man is saying, to hell with (laughs) y'all. I'm winning. (laughs) And it's making, it's pissing off everybody that's watching. Because they feel like he need to be like, you know what, man, um, I'm playing like trash and, you know, my whole world is falling apart. But they don't like the fact that he's sitting up there in them interviews and like, say what you want, but I'm the man. <laughs> my wife loves me. My kids is good. Y'all put some respect on my name. DJ Walk, my question for you, brother, is the man winning or is he not winning? Playing like trash the way he playing. What's your thoughts? My thoughts exactly are he's taking this as a job. He's taking it as a job. He's taking it as a job. He's saying, you know, Mm. this is my job. Mm. I'm not performing well. But at the same time, this is my job. This is not my life. Mm. This is my job. This is not my life. This is this this. Uh, my job is to be a basketball player. But should he? Is is that the answer? Most players don't answer like that. You know, they would say somebody like Jordan that's or somebody. They most would be like players. That's because most players don't have a wife and a family and support like Russell Westbrook. Woo, you woo, you cover. What That's, you want today? What you want today, boy? What you want man, today? Listen, 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 man, listen. Ooh. You got to put things in perspective. Mhm. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a basketball player. I play basketball for a living. And this job has funded me to take care of my family, my children, and more than likely my children's my children's children. So mm-hmm. my perspective on life is right in line to where it wants to be. If I get a championship, cool. You know, if I don't. Jay, that's not the cult, but bro, that is that's, not that's the not, culture. That's, that's not the culture. You, it's win at all costs. Mamba mentality. Listen, you know listen. what I'm saying? I just got finished watching The Last Dance. Your boy Jordan was like, <laughs> he got teary-eyed. He said, man, if y'all don't want to win, if y'all don't want to have this type of heat, listen, he listen, said, then I don't want to play listen, with listen, you. And then you listen. got Russ getting up here talking about, I'm playing like trash, but listen, my wife is good. My listen, kids is good. But look, look, at all, look at all those men, though. Did they have solid homes? Look at Kobe. You know what Kobe, you know what he got into in Denver. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, you know okay, okay. In Denver, uh-huh. you yeah. seen the problems that Jordan was having. Jordan's eyes are so yellow, man. That brother look like he he get up and smoke a Cuban cigar every morning, man. He look, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? His his affect, man. I think Russ is putting in perspective what's most important, and that's his family. This man, Terrence, said, but you don't have to win, but don't you have to win in every area? And see, that's the question about work-life balance. I, you and I both have been in positions where we've had issues at work. Right. And we have brought it home. Right. Your boy Russ is like, I might be playing like ish. I ain't bringing it home. And I ain't going to let none of you, I don't know why I like this, but I'm receiving what you're saying. I just think it's so gangster that he is pissing off all of these, these talking heads saying, I'm not giving y'all the satisfaction. I ain't answering your questions the way I want. I'm good. Because most of these cats that's on here talking, I'm just going to be real. Shaquille O'Neal, I'm not judging his, his – I'm not. I'm sure he's a good father or whatever, but I'm saying he failed marriage. Charles Barkley, he's been married to the same woman for a long time, but we already know what's going on with that. Exactly. Right? Uh, exactly. I don't know about Kenny Smith. I'm just saying I haven't heard him, but I know Stephen A. Smith is not married. I mean, I'm saying a lot of these guys, you can hear them – oh, by the way, Skip Bayless said this. He is on record as saying that basically his hierarchy 
of importance. He told his wife that work is first and she comes second. And he said they have that arrangement. So when this when a cat like this comes up and he's saying this type of stuff to these cats who work is everything, it's insulting. I mean, I I, I don't agree with Skip, but I I kind of I don't agree with him, but I understand where he's coming from because your job is really going to fund everything else in your household. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so I don't agree with him, but I know guys that's like that. You know, they they take their job over their family, their marriage. They'll work all day and night, come home and go to sleep and won't even say two words to their wife. You know, so there's guys out there like that. But it's guys out there like Westbrook that's saying, hey, my wife, my family, my children, my personal, the Westbrook legacy is more important than me than winning these championships. Skip Bayless said, I'm, I'm married to this, talking about his career. He said, when I met my wife, I told her, you'll always be number two to my job. That's crazy. Which is my life. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I bet that bed, I bet that bed is cold as an ice cube at night, baby. I don't, you know, the money he making is some is some sisters out there, man, is willing to take that, man, for the bread. But I, you know, again, I'm saying from that's a sports perspective, maybe we have a different conversation. Uh, what do you say? Go ahead. What, 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 what's that? I said, uh, Mr. Bushner said, it's, it's it's God, then wife, then then son. No, yeah, God is first, then my wife and my that's children. Root, I feel you. That's Root Bushner. He a legend from Akron, Ohio, man. That man's a legend from Akron, Ohio. Shout out to, Shout out to yeah. AK out there. Act, act wrong. Mike, 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 Mike Hayes says Skip Davis is crazy. Uh, J.R. Alexander from Miami talking about how many athletes live squeaky clean reps. Dr. J even has dirt. Uh, right. Mike said the only one who is solid is LeBron out of all these extra achievers. And, you know, again, man, that's I, guess, I think that's the, the point we were trying to make about, you know, work-life balance. And here, here's my opinion. I'm, I want to know what your thoughts are. Right. I actually – I agree with Russ, and I agree I, with I, do I agree with I agree with Russ's whole media persona. I like that he doesn't give these guys satisfaction. I think I like that he does things his own way, and I like that he's happily married and he's raising his kids well. He's making an impact in Los Angeles. Is he struggling on the court? Yes, but how many of us brothers out there have had that? Uh, is all y'all all y'all out there winning on the court? I mean, or in your in your career? Is all y'all out there giving people work at the job? And you I man, stop lying, dudes. Be lying. They be lying, bro. You ain't winning nothing. like that. Come on, man. I, here's my thing. I don't believe in work-life balance. I think it's impossible to balance work and family life. I believe in work-life imbalance. And here's here's what I mean by that. Okay. I saw I read this book called uh, The One Thing. And in the book, it says life is like, you know, juggling, right? You're juggling all these balls, right? And so, like, you know, work is a rubber ball. Your hobbies is a rubber ball. Sports is a rubber ball. You know, business, money, all that's a rubber ball. He said, but your family is a glass ball. He said, you're juggling all this stuff. It's like you can drop work because it'll bounce back. You can drop money. You get, you, you get another job. You get another. You get all this. You, he said, if you drop the family joint, the joint's going to shatter into a million pieces. And it's going to take you forever to re- put that thing back together again. And it sounds like to me, like you can't. I just don't think you can balance. I think you should cheat everything else and not cheat your family. But Skip Bayless done told us. He's like, ain't no balance. My wife, my, my career come first. <laughs> that's, 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 that's crazy. You know, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, listen, uh, as we, as we, as we, as we, as we shift gears a little bit, um, real talk. I want to know from you before we, before we see what's bubbling on this block. Bro, how how well do you do with this work life balance stuff? Cause I'll be honest, I have not. This is a, you know how they you know say people practice medicine or you practice, you know it's a practice, bro. This is not easy, man. Especially when you're a high achiever and you want to do great things, it's not easy, bro. Yeah, man. Work life balance, man, is 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 hard, and what makes it hard is me my wife makes it easy you know what i'm saying my wife um i i mean the job that i have was like very stressful and i would come home i'd be i would wear stress all day you know and i would just be stressed out and my wife was like negro quit 
I, you know, I got you. I'm gonna I'm hold us down if need be. You know, I'm I'm here for the family. You can figure it out, but I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna hold it down. So, you know, when your job is not clicking and and things aren't really going right at the job site, man, you bring that stuff home and it affects your family. You know, you mm-hmm. just can't let it. You know, and I think that Russell is at the point where he's just like, okay, I'm not going to let it because I'm not going to let the issues that's going on on my job affect how good my family's running right now. Wow. Wow. This this wow. train is good. This um, family train is good. So just because I'm not scoring 35 points, 10 rebounds, and five blocks, I'm not going to bring that home to mess up what we got going on here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a lot of men do that. I did that personally. I'm just like, I'm stressed out. Like, oh my God, I got billing. I got all this stuff to do. Oh my God. And and I come home and it's like, I, I'm wearing it. And, you know, it took a toll on my family. You know? So, um, even though your family could be good, man, you bringing that stuff home, man, it just throws everything off. So, you know, you got to understand what's more important. And, you know, you got to put things in perspective that, you know, your family is going to be the one that's going to ultimately hold it down for you. You know, ultimately, jobs jobs come and go, you know. um, I mean, you know my story. You may know who I'm going through right now. You know, jobs come and go. Um, But your family and how you take care of your family and how your kids see how you're taking care of your family. That stuff lasts forever. You know, that that's that glass ball. That's the stuff that you can't fix. You know, this cat, uh, Jamal said, what I don't like is when me- media is talking about basketball players want to talk about how great their family is. But when media talk about their family, then they want to get mad and stay on the subject of basketball. Mm, that's a good point. Answer the question and lead the family out of it. Yeah, he's just saying that the media can be hypocritical. We know that already. But I just like because and I think Russ knows that, and because he knows that, he just like I don't have to tell y'all nothing. I don't have to. Uh, I, I'll answer you. I'm just gonna be genuine in my answer and be real. Uh, uh, the the Rupert Bushner, the the sensei said, I had a friend that said I can't gamble with anything that I'm not willing to lose. Ooh, ooh. I tell you right now, I um my wife said something to me. This is one of the things that helped me to start this whole thing on the men's joint. She said to me, she said, dude, you're Superman at home. Mm-hmm. She said, she, you know, she said, you Superman at work and you Clark Kent at home. <laughs> She's like, man, you always showing up for everybody else, bro. And then you'd be bringing some old trash, the, the leftovers, you know, after you didn't got beat up back to the house. So I, I'm honestly, man, I had something happen yesterday. Me and my wife, this is a true story, man. I ain't even want to say this, but I'll tell it. Man, I had an emotional conversation with my wife this morning about something I'm going through on the job. And I realized how, how part of me, what I, it's not just keeping work not from home, but sometimes we got to let our women in mm. to what we're going through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. If you got a rider, you got to have a rider, man. It's going to be ride or die, you know? Bro, let me, I'm about to keep it all the way 100. You ready for this? I'm about to keep it all the way 100. Yo, my wife, she 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 tapped me on the shoulder this morning, and she was like, you know, you, 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 down, for, you down for a little cuddling? <laughs> Bruh, I was, I was, I, brother, I was so stressed. I couldn't sleep out over some, over some stuff, bruh. I, I literally said to my wife, like, not right now. I told her I wasn't feeling well. And then she probed that much. She's like, clearly, nah, bro, because you've been sick before. <laughs> nah, there's something wrong with you. See, you got to have your good one. Your wife knows. She's like, if this man, if this man ain't trying to cuddle, <laughs> then there's something wrong. <laughs> it's something wrong. Bro, oh, my mama, bro. She knew. I was like, Man, I poured my soul out to her. I poured my soul out to my wife. And it, it affected me. I was like, I'm allowing work to take up real estate. Not only in my mind, but in my doggone house, man. In your in my bedroom. bedroom. In your bedroom. In my bed, man. Crazy dude. <laughs> Bruh. I mean. You know, you can't miss them blessings, brother. You got to grab hey, them every time they come around. 
<laughs> Listen, I mean, I, I praise God. You know, they they've been coming around quite frequently lately, man. So you know, every now and then, I mean, I, I know I, I can turn it down because I know it's gonna it's not gonna be gone forever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we got empty. We got a little empty nest going on yeah, over here. Yeah, so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Full, I got a full nest. I got two little kids running around. <laughs> getting the bed ninety percent of the time. Well, trying to get them off the bed, man. Bro, real talk though, man. And it hit me I, at that moment, Jay. I was like, man, this is some trash. These, I didn't let these ninjas get in my dog old bedroom, man. Hey. And your yeah. boy Russ. Your boy Russ. I don't know. Maybe he went through something I went through. Maybe he did. Hey. And he was just like, bump all that. Bro. Hey. <laughs> hey, I don't got to answer. I don't got to say nothing. Y'all can talk about hey. me if y'all want to. I'm winning. <laughs> they better not run up on Russ. I'm telling you that, boy. They better not run. Don't let them little man bags and them little tight clothes fool you. Don't run up on Russ. Shannon yeah. said, and you're still in your 40s. <laughs> exactly. Man. Exactly. You know it's too much. You know it's too much, bro. You know it's too much. Stress is a testosterone killer. Mm. <laughs> it's Tell a testosterone killer, man. Anyway, yeah. yo, man, we got to move, though. This is a this is a great conversation. What's bubbling on the block, bro? Man, what's going on real quick? Let me get my little information. Let me get my information up real quick. All right. Myron, another little test for you. I might have to put some music under you, bro. <laughs> Wow, I what's up? I gotta put. I want you bubbling under the block. I gotta put that music up. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Not, not yet, not yet. Because I'm like, all right, all right. I'm all music. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you sound better be right, bro. <laughs> uh, do you right, know who is Nadavius Damon Wilburn? Who? Nadavius Dun. Uh, Nadavius Damon Wilburn. Bruh, who who is this? Obama? Who is this? Some I know it's gonna be some obvious person. Last time you got us with Kanye West dad. Who is this, man? Little baby's cousin. He also goes by the name Future. <laughs> 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 he also goes by the name Future. He's a popular rapper in in the hip hop and in trap music world. And just want to touch on what was bubbling on this block, man, with this young brother, man. It's how he missed his blessing mm. with a beautiful young woman named Sierra. <laughs> Oh boy, the work life balance. <laughs> and let's just talk about the people that you have around you. Yeah. You know, you gotta have good people around you. Yeah. And you know, you know how blessings flow? How how blessings just just you know, they just come down from just all different areas. Yeah, 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 yeah. And because my man was such a clown, I'm getting blessed right now. Okay, 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 okay. Because it seemed like, you know, since Miss Sierra left that clown. <laughs> okay. And got with Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson's whole life has changed. His whole life has changed. Hold on, man. Let me play. Let me let me let me play some. Bro, I knew this was coming. I knew this was. I should have known this is foolish. This was coming, man. This brother, man. Can you hear my music? Can you hear my music? Yeah, it's lame though. It's lame, bro. That it's man lame. of the Lord. <laughs> that man of the Lord has joy. <laughs> Uh, my beloved Denver Broncos. Oh boy, God is good today. <laughs> because our brother missed his blessing. Oh, he missed his blessing. Uh, come she on, she went and got with a man. Come that on, loves sir. the Lord. Russ, come on, Russ loves the Lord. Russ, Russ, Russ loves, loves, the, Lord. loves the Lord, brother. <laughs> and his blessing has matriculated down. <laughs> on my beloved Denver Broncos. <laughs> and I just want to say how the Lord is with us this year. <laughs> the Lord is with us this year. Oh, bro. Uh, I just want to say how beautiful it is to have a man of the cloth. 
A man of the cloth. Running my QB number one spot. Bro, I see a picture online of him and Sierra where this man is on his knees with his hands lifted. Hey, listen, Sierra's listen. got her hands. They worshiping, brother. They worshiping. They worshiping. Since that young lady left that... Oh, young my. Man, her blessing has not... The, look at the beautiful family and just, yeah, you know, yeah. you have to be sure when you have... The Bible says when a man finds a... He finds a what? A good thing. A good thing. A good thing. And the thing. blessings of the of the Lord is upon the Wilson household. Oh. <laughs> I want to say right now. I want to say right now because everybody who knows me, I was gonna put on my Denver cap, but I didn't want to let go of my segment too fast. I just want to say, let's lift that brother up in prayer, especially you and your cowboy loving. So let's lift that brother up. And prayer. Look at the hate. Look at the hate already. I know. I know. I know. He can't. You know. I, listen. Listen. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because the Lord is with us. Who won the Super Bowl this year? You know who won the Super Bowl this year? No, no for real. Who won the Super Bowl this year? I can't remember. You don't know who won the Super Bowl this year? What's wrong with you, Meyer? Who was it? I, I'm, I'm struggling. I can't remember. I'm I'm drawing a blank. L.A., the L.A. Rams, brother. Oh, yeah, that's right. So Mahomes didn't win the Super Bowl. <laughs> so, 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 you know, it blows my mind to hear these people talk about Russ went to the wrong division, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Let's keep this thing in the – keep it in perspective, brother. It's what yeah. Russell Wilson is a man of God. The man is winning in the things that matter. And we don't want to turn this into a sports talk show all day. No, but I just, no, you no. know, I'm just saying how – I'm just saying how the blessing of putting yourself in the right position can not only benefit you, but benefit millions around the world. I mean, and no the world. hooking up with the right person, hooking up with the right person. That man is winning. That man is, but that man is blessed among many. <laughs> <laughs> he is, that, that brother is blessed. <laughs> he is blessed. Brother, listen, man. It also shows how the impact of a man on a woman, man. Now, I, yes. I, I, we don't know these people, okay? So, but I have not known Sierra prior to Russell Wilson. I had not known her to be a worshiper. I had she known was, her, she I known her to, 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 to say, you know, I thank God, just like anybody, you know, even the, even the worst trap music artist will get up and thank the Lord and his mama. I, so I kind of knew Sierra as that type of believer. But it's like ever since Russ came into her life, I see I'm seeing images on the screen of, of her worshiping. <laughs> and she even has a song on her album, Sierra's Prayer, talking about how much God has blessed her with a good man and encouraging other women like, you know, your blessing, your husband's on the way. Look, I know this is a men's podcast, but if any ladies has snuck in here, I'm here to tell you your husband, your blessing is on the way. Oh, my, 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 my. (laughs) Just stay faithful to God and you're going to find somebody. You're going to find your Russell Wilson, sweetheart. God is going to bless you in your home. Hey, Hey, go, boy. You felt that in your shana now, huh? (laughs) I'm about to send my cash app. Y'all can uh, pass my offering through my cash app. (laughs) Brother, I'm looking at this image right now, man, of your boy Russ. That man is prostrate. And his woman is standing right next to his side. Listen, put it on the screen. screen. Put it on the screen. If you can put it on the screen. I was trying to put it on the screen, my brother. Let me let me see if I can make it happen. But uh, you know, these are the kinds of things that we need to speak more about. We need to, you know, we we talk so much about these athletes' prowess on the court on on the field of play. But I mean, don't you think we need to talk a little bit more of these guys prowess outside of the field of play? You know, how they what kind of house homes that they have? You know, it's it's a beautiful thing, man. Uh, You know, as I export this file on my desktop in my downloads, man, and as I prepare to put it on screen, how many of us brothers desire this right here? Uh, I'm just going to I got to say this like. I told my son, man, I sent him, I said, man, son, this is what I, this is my dream for you, man. This is my dream for you right here. My dream for you, my brother, is that you have this experience. Let me, let me get, let me get my, let me get myself together up here. Let me get myself, my, I'm getting my, my, my screen is all messed up because I'm, I mean, look at that, brother. Look at that. Look at that. That's my quarterback. 
That's my quarterback. <laughs> that, that's my quarterback. I mean, come on now, man. What I mean, is is that not getting your shift together? <laughs> and he's leading by example. He like, baby, I'm I'm not going. I need to get I need to get on my knees in front of the Lord. The only reason why she's not on her knees because she got a dress on. But if she if she if she had some pants on, she'd be right there next to her man. Look at look at that. That's that's a that's what getting your shift together looks like in a picture. Come yeah, on, yeah. sir. Come that on, boy, sir. Look at he he looks physically ready. He got his wife out there. <laughs> you know, this, is, this is this this is I seen this picture. I said the Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. But on the real though, man. Russ has not been. Russ has not had few. He hasn't had uh, you know some good seasons. You know, of course, we'll, most of us will say it's because you know he's, he's not had the help. Um, but that man still got a smile on his face, man. Yeah, because man. that man can go home. He going home to the blessings of the Lord, man. <laughs> the man is blessed, brother. Listen, we just need to put, and I know we're joking around, and you know, but yeah. But the major underlying thing is you have to put your life in perspective of what's important. Yeah. Your family is important. Yeah. Your children are important. Yeah. Your health, your your mental health. Yeah. Your mental health is important. You know, people are going to say whatever they have to say about you. But as long as you understand where your love and your help comes from, that's mm-hmm. the most important. Get your relationship with the Lord together. Get your relationship with your family together. Because when the rug pulls out underneath you, who's going to be the one to really be there to hold you down? Your boy, both of these Russes, Russ Westbrook, Russ is so interesting that both of them Russ with a W. Westbrook and Wilson, and we don't know, obviously, we don't know them. We're just using them as an illustration, but... I think it seems as though they have figured out that, man, these careers are short careers and their careers are shorter than ours. I mean, I've been pastoring for 22 years. These guys ain't playing football and sports for that long. These guys are going to play that for maybe 11 years. Yeah. 10, 11 years. years. And after that, they got, they got to, they got, they got to go back home and, they're going to these talking heads going to be talking about somebody else. Some, I want to say something to a brother out there. It's a brother out there, man. You care more about how other people think than you care about your family, how your family thinks. That's the kind of, that's the kind of foolishness that I was caught up under to where you allow these people to have all this real estate in your, and they're not even paying you rent. They taking up real estate in your head, your bedroom, your body, and they not even paying you no rent. Man, you can't, and you got family members around you that love you, and you don't even you don't even really give prioritization to their thoughts and their feelings. We got to get our shift together, bro. Yeah, Rob Dow, man, he's a um, he's a, he's a also a podcaster, the uh, mindset mentor, and um, mm-hmm. I'm on a text thread. You know, he sends out texts every morning, and um, mm-hmm. this was his text for yesterday. He said, "One day you'll regret how much time you spend worrying about things." That didn't even matter. Switch your focus to those that do matter. Mm. Woo, that's relevant. That's it. That's it, man. Rob Dow, he's a dope guy, man. Go, go check him out. But uh, you know, you gotta focus your attention and your energy on what's important, and that's your your health, your family, and and your children. And if you don't have children, you know, your extended family. You know, exactly. you can't let you can't let the stress of life of things like, you know, your job or whatever spill off into other things. So this, this, this is hitting home. Cause I've, I have recently been going through that, you know, and I've recently just said, okay, I need to focus on, you know, where my support really is. And so this, this is ministering to me as well, because, you know, I had to get my mind together on, okay, You know, what's really important in my life? Everything will come back. Everything else will come back, you know. Jobs will come back. back. They'll bounce back. They'll bounce back. back. Yeah. Right. We need to stay solid. Um, As we get ready to to close this out, last year, I believe, or 2000, no, I think it was last year, you know, they had this thing called the Great Resignation. They had millions of people who left their jobs. Mm -hmm. Millions of people quit. They just walked away. 
And, you know, they, all these pundits and stuff were trying to figure out why were people leaving their jobs? And they said the number one reason why people left their jobs is because they had time to think. <laughs> it's like normally when we in the when we in the rat race, we don't have time. We got to get up. We got to go. He said, man, because the pandemic put us at home, you know what I'm saying? And people are now at home, you know what I'm saying? Instead of at the job. And they're like, man, they're looking at their kids that, you know, everybody's at home now. And they said the number one reason is, man, work life balance. People had a chance to think and they said they're no longer going to work for somebody that's going to take away the thing that matters the most. Mm. Good Lord, man. Good, good, good great. Stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff today. Hey, yeah. fam. Listen, man, we love y'all, but listen, we're going to tell y'all right now. This won't even, it's, listen, you got it. Listen, come on. Why, why would you even play yourself? And not be at this doggone conference in April. Like, why? Like, what, what are you doing, my brother? What, the, what, are, they, what are they doing with their life, DJ Walk? If they're not in, these, in the DMV on April 1st through 3rd. They're not getting their shift together, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Man, let me tell you something right now. We need this. This conference, we've been trying to have this conference for like four different times. And, and Delta didn't want us to be great. Omicron didn't want us to be great. The whole pandemic shut us down. But hey, it's time. We ready now. We ready now. Y'all go to the website, mensbreakthroughconference.com. Meet me and DJ Walk there and a host of other people there as we try to get our shift together. Hey, look, we up out of this joint, man. Much love to all y'all. Y'all have a good day. Good life. Love your families. You know what I'm saying? Treat people well. And most importantly, what are the things that matter? We out here. Men's Podcast. For more information, please visit our website, menswinningcircle.com. That is, menswinningcircle.com. Let's win in the things that matter. <laughs>